have a look at this thing. I'm on the back end of a set of storms that came through the rural area. And once the rain passed, this thing popped out in a clean sky. It is absolutely enormous. There's, some, there's a lot of lightning out here. Just amazing to watch. Hopefully we'll get one that come out the side. There's lightning all around me, so there's no way I'm getting outside. But this thing is just amazing. Hopefully we'll get something that comes out the sides. I don't think it'll be too long. I've got lighting in the back of me, lighting in the side. Well, oh, there's a big one there. I'll try and get as much as I can in. Don't worry about the clicking in the background, that's just my camera doing its thing. That's the top of the storm, the anvil will sort of spread out to the northeast. But this core is just rampant with bloody uh, lightning. Sort of scan around there to show you the, the front edge of the storm there. I'd expect something to come out pretty soon. Right, well there's a big one there, come out the side. Let's scan them in a bit more. Let's put the wipers up and get a clearer view. Storm's only about probably five or six k's away from me, so uh, you can understand my hesitation about not getting out. Just pan up a bit more. Oh, there's a. It's trying to put one out the side. There's plenty of activity on top of the. That's the top of the core there. That's where the activity is. I'll keep this going. There might be a part two and part three to this. If a bolt comes out, it's got to be right in front of me, which I'm not looking forward to. Well, that's, a, that's the base of the storm with the sunset behind it. Magnificent sight. And all that flashing there is your uh, negative charge area doing all the work. You see the leaders coming out. Nothing going to ground yet. I'll try and I'll try and get the ground in there, yeah. See how far those leaders come out under the anvil there. I'll try and get as much as I can in. It's a bit hard with this 
thing because it's so close to me but let's see if something comes out it should come out this side onto the right so we'll just wait and see let's try Focusing on the activity up there. Just check my camera while I'm doing this. A bit out of focus, I'll try and get back in for you. Here we go. There's a lot of activity out there, and it's just non-stop. And that's the updraft just continually going up, it's pushing through the anvil base. I'll just pan around to show you the amp. There's the anvil on the one side, and then to the other side. It's right over through the Palmerston area as well. Just waiting for it to drop one out the side. Hasn't happened yet. I really can't be in a better position. Oh, there's one. Big CG then. Just focus it on this bit for a while. See if we can't get another ground stroke to come out. Okay, that's be part one. I'll have to stop it and go to parts. Okay, this is part two. Gorgeous sunset storm right in front. Magnificent updraft right in front of me. It's been a while since I've been in a position where the storm's moving away from me. And it's just doing its thing. So anyway, enough talking and just uh, watch the show.
Big flash then. A couple of aircraft are flying in between these storms. See the updraft is on the big CG then, quick one. You can see the updraft is just constantly going up, which is exactly what you need. There's an aircraft coming from the right hand side, oh, sorry, left hand side. You see the blinking of the navigation lights? It's going to go straight past this thing. I'll be thinking you might want to go about 10 kilometers away from this thing. He's right in front of it. I hope he doesn't get hit. If he does, I'll get it on the video. Oh, the passengers will be thinking, yeah, okay, mate, you want to get past this thing pretty quickly. Got through it okay. Right in front of me, nice. Still waiting. CG in the bottom there. Oh, there's a clean air. There's a negative stroke, that one. I had more than uh, two, ret two restraint return strokes. Came out, came out the side and then ducked in uh, behind the cloud. The storm's not going to end uh, anytime soon. I've been here about probably 45 minutes and it's uh, not stopped at all.
bunch of storms behind me to the left to the right but I'm going to concentrate on this one I'm a bit sport tonight because I've got storms surrounding me and I don't know whether to get the other camera out and point behind me as well but given what this thing's doing I might just stick on this And it could be a part three to this because uh, I've got to get some other gear set up. I might just wait to see if something else comes out. <clears throat> 